Have you ever wanted to start investing but don't seem to have enough money at the end of the month to actually contribute to your portfolio? Well, I may just have the right app for you. Introducing Plum, which is a new app which promises to use artificial intelligence to help you save and transition that savings into eventual investing. So in this video, I'm going to take a first look into the Plum money managing app and see if I would recommend it for beginners looking to save a bit more using AI. I purposely haven't completely finished setting up, so we're going to look into the app as a first look. If you do like what you see, make sure to use the links in the description down below and that will help me out if you do sign up. So when I log into the Plum app, you can see it says Afternoon Jubair and it's got a sunny icon. I'm not sure if it actually knows that it's quite sunny outside today. But anyway, £5.49 is the amount I have. So unlike the other investing apps I show, this is not my portfolio per se. This is how much I have in my Plum account. And in this video, I'm going to show you what that means. Like what on earth is that? So essentially the premise of the Plum investing app is to link your main bank account Account. So for example, I've linked my Halifax account and I've only given access to my current account. And essentially when I joined, what it did straight away is it had a quick look into my current account and it kind of looked at my ingoings and outgoings and found a small amount in which it will take out of my main account into my Plum account to help manage my savings. So for example, it looked at my current account and it found that if it takes out £5.49, that will be kind of an easy automatic amount to take from my account, I think per week, but you can hopefully change this in this app and this adds it to your Plum wallet which for me is £5.49. Now if you're one of those people who find it very difficult to save which is definitely not me this app could be very very good for you because it takes out automatically certain amounts that you won't actually notice in your current account and it puts it into your Plum account. As I'm having a first look I actually did want to complete setup with you so I actually just completed my setup on Plum so I linked my bank account however I haven't finished the last step so right now I'm going to complete the last step and this is where you give Plum the access to your or inner workings of your bank account for it to use its AI algorithms to better help you save for different things so different goals you can have for example if you have a goal to save for a holiday if you have a goal to save up for a TV or if you have a goal to start investing more Plum makes it very easy to do that so I'm going to give my bank a brain which is basically giving Plum the access so Plum uses automation and artificial intelligence to help set your money aside it's a bit like giving your bank a brain so that's what we've called it so anyway I'm going to press next so Plum's brain is made of rules use them to control how much money Plum sets aside for you. So with the Plum investing app, there are certain rules that you can change around, sort of like sliders, that will help provide a lot more control over your money. So depending on how much you want to save, depending on how passive you want it, depending on how sneaky you want it. So one of the things that stops people saving is the fact that they realize that this money is going out and they think of things that they could buy with that money. However, Plum makes it easy to kind of do it automatically without having to worry about, you know, oh, I have to put two pounds here, five pounds there, 10 pounds there. That is something that I could have spent on a coffee or something like that. So I can press next, activate the payday rule to get started. So let's activate the payday rule. So paydays are when you get paid and you can put in the amount you get on a payday. So after tax, I get paid, you know, for example, if I get 500 pounds at the end of the month. So for example, this is a overview of how it will help you budget. So for example, per payday, if I had 500 pounds, Plum thinks it's good to take away 25 pounds and put it into my Plum account and I will have 475 pound remaining. So for example, it's giving me context. So 25 pounds, two less takeaways, 12 pounds, two less fast food meals, six pounds, two less lunchtime meal deals. And I can enter my own amount here. So let's just see what happens when you set up paydays. It's saying that at the first of every month, it's going to take out 25 pounds. And the money that I have left over is my money to spend. So I don't really have to worry about this money being saved. This is great for pretty much the majority of people in the UK who are very bad at saving because what you don't see is what you can't spend. So now that the setup is complete, let's go through the app and see what kind of tools it has that will help us with our saving journey. So one of the key features of Plum is the fact that it has pockets. So Plum is free to download. However, Plum has a few different tiers that you can pay in order to access more features. So with a free version, you do get one pocket. So a pocket is basically like a pocket of money. If you're used to banks with a current account, you can often get instant savings accounts, which add like another pocket, it gives you a different account number and sort code, which allows you to actually separate your money. So with Plum, you do get a free pocket, you get your primary pocket, and also Plum allows you to save money with interest. So currently the basic easy access savings with Plum, it has 
a 2.2% return. So this is calculated on an annual basis, provided you have invested that amount for the full year. This is a lot higher than other instant savings bank accounts. For example, I know for Halifax, it is a lot higher and also it's free. So you can actually move your money from your primary pocket into your easy access savings. So this is my primary pocket. Currently, it has no money available. However, it does say £5.54 because on the 29th of March, I should receive £5.49 from my bank. So this is an automatic payment set up by Plum when I first started. It kind of looks at your account and sees this is the correct amount to take out. So on the 29th of March, this is going to come out. So currently, I actually don't have any money in my account. However, if I wanted to add to my pocket, for example, I can press deposit and link it from my bank account, direct debit or instant deposit. Very simple like that. Also, if I want to deposit here from my bank account, I can click Halifax. And as you can see, it has noticed my current account and it gives you the balance of my current account. So currently the balance of my current account is around 42 pounds. And it has noticed that I have a planned overdraft of 250 pounds. So the reason why I say Plum is not personally for me is because I already manage my account very well with Halifax. I have a very small amount in my current account. This is because I'm actively every single day managing by having many different pockets in my Halifax account. How However, this I know goes over the head of most people in the UK, maybe even the world. So me trying to teach you that in Halifax is going to be very difficult. However, with Plum, it makes it very easy to have different pockets. Of course, if you pay more, you can get more pockets. But currently having one pocket and a basic easy access saving is very good. So if you don't know what an easy access saving is, is basically you can put in money and withdraw it whenever. But the longer you hold it in there, the, the more interest that you gain because of the way that the interest works. So it gives you nice stats. So it kind of gamifies savings. It gives you the lifetime deposit stats, how much you set aside for a month and your awesomeness, which I absolutely have no idea what that means. But the whole premise of Plum is the fact that it will help you save with these tools, with having a primary pocket, with having a savings account. It kind of automatically deposits from your bank in a way that really won't hurt you, in a way that you don't have to realize what's coming out. And then the idea is that it will help you also invest. However, the investing side of this app is not free. As an investing channel, I go through many other investing platforms that might have lower fees overall. Plum doesn't have the lowest fees. However, what makes Plum different is the fact that it really helps you save and helps you transition from saving into investing. And if you're new to investing, you might not have thousands and thousands of pounds and the fees aren't going to make that much of a difference when you have a smaller pot. The idea may be after you start learning how to invest using Plum, you can then transition on to some bigger providers that I talk about. So anyway, let's see what Plum has in terms of investing. I am mostly an investing channel, so I'm very interested to see that. So currently they have over 500 US stocks, which is pretty much typical for any of the investing apps that I talk about. But what I really like about Plum is that it really helps you get into investing. And this is why I want to review this app. So it tells you how to start investing. They have little videos that look like kind of Snapchat or Instagram story type videos. They have the whole typical popular stocks, which I definitely never recommend. They also have thematic funds. So for example, they have their own kind of bundles of stocks, such as what Vanguard does. And this is kind of like an ETF, which is collection of stocks. So as you can see, this one, the balance bundle has a portfolio of 60% stocks and 40% bonds. This kind of screams someone who wants to diversify and also be a bit safe. Maybe they are 40 years to 60 years old. So they have a bit of bonds there to kind of ride out the market. You can use this tool here to kind of see if you put in monthly deposit of £5, you're kind of projected £3,000 to have in 30 years time. This is super useful to have in a beginner focused app like Plum. So if you're putting away £5 a month, you might think, Honestly, what's the point of putting five pounds a month? I'm never going to get anywhere. But in 30 years time, you can be projected with this fund at least to have around 3,000 pounds. And of course, if you increase your monthly deposits to something like 100 pounds, you could be looking at 70,000 pounds at the end of 30 years. What I do like is the fact that it's also quite realistic because, you know, the other apps might go up to 10,000 pound monthly deposit and you might have like 17 million. But this is being more realistic and saying monthly deposits of around 100 pounds. And then it's got the information about the funds. But I think this would also go over the heads of many people to understand you know what does the size of the fund really matter annual management fee good information to have but probably most people will not understand but i do think that having these videos makes it very useful to actually begin to invest in fact there's a video of what is diversification which i think is a very important thing to learn about when you invest also how to start investing benefits of investing stocks versus funds honestly very very impressed by that they also have sectors so tech companies geographical funds clean and green dividend income stocks biggest movers the big players changing fast hands. So when I did go into the website, I did find that they have their own funds, which I really like. So you can transition from savings to investing and Plum has you sorted by having its own funds. Now I have my laptop here and I can see on the website that they
they do have their own funds. So if you pay for the premium version, as you can see here, they have around nine exclusive funds. So essentially they're a collection of stocks. So they manage these own funds and they have nine themes. So these are the natural resources, invest in equities that focus on oil, gas, exploration, etc. They have global gold, which is gold and mining. They have biotech and genomics. So investing in biotechnology and things like that. They have real estate, which is, I'm guessing, a bunch of REITs, real estate investment trusts. They have inflation protected. So I'm guessing this is mostly bonds. They have UK dividend stocks. They have global dividends and Japanese prime and Chinese supreme. So while we're here, let's find out about the different price tiers and see if it's right for you to actually use Plum to manage your finances. So in this page, we have a list of their pricing tiers. So what I looked through the app now was the basic one. So on the basic one, you do still earn interest at 2.2%. You have access to 1,200 stocks, which I actually didn't realize. And I will be going back to the app in a bit to see those free stocks. So it's commission free trading. However, some fees do apply. With the free plan, you do get multiple pockets. However, you don't get some of the extra stuff such as gamifying your deposits, which kind of gives you access to stuff like 52 week challenges. We have goals, you have cashback, you have money maximizer, and of course the Plum card, which is basically a debit card that you can use in the shops that is kind of connected to Plum and you can use as a normal debit card. And with the higher tier, you get access to tools that will automate your investing strategy. So let's just go through the price. So the premium one, which is £9.99, which might be steep for many of you, does give you access to higher rate of interest, gives you access to 3,000 stocks which are commission free. However, as a beginner, the more stocks you have doesn't necessarily mean the better. You can have your SIP pension with them, automated deposits, unlimited withdrawals for every single tier and access to 15 pockets and 21 of their funds. So the ultra tier is £4.99 and that gives you 2.45% interest, it gives you access to 15 pockets again, 12 funds, cash back also, but does not give you the automatic tools to invest with. Lastly, we have the pro which is £2.99 which is quite affordable for most of you. 2.45% interest, access to 15 pockets, 12 funds, and doesn't have the money maximizer, the plum card, or tools to automate your investments. So after learning more about the pricing strategy, let's go through what else the app offers. So for example, let's go into the investing section and say, for example, I wanted to invest in Netflix. Oh, I can actually do that. I can pick to invest in Netflix. So because I review a lot of investing apps, I just want to show you what the actual user interface looks like because user interface is one of those things that most beginners actually look for it's one thing that most of the intermediate investors don't realize that beginners really do care about the interface. And I can say that the interface is quite simple. It's pretty good looking, not the best that I've ever seen because I do think it might be a tiny bit too cluttered with too much information at a glance, too much like small print it kind of does take away from the user experience. But other than that, it's really good. What I really do like is the fact that they make very good use of haptics. Now you can't actually see this. Maybe if I put it onto my microphone, not sure if you can hear that, but it's making full use of the haptic feedback. Every single up and down, I can feel it on my finger, which is very good. So it has the maximum view. It has the highs and lows, which I really, really like when an investing app does that. So you can see the highest in this period was 690. The lowest was $175. The past year, again, highs and lows, showing you the trend, past month, past week, and past day. So it does allow you to set up repeat investments, which might only be available for the premium version. So if I press invest on Netflix, press continue, I have to kind of fill up the setup process for that. So I'll quickly do that. And then of course you have to put in your national insurance number, certify that I'm not a US citizen. And then it's gonna ask you to do all this. So a few other things that you have to tick. So there's a lot of things that you actually have to do before you start investing, which I really think is good because if you're new, you're going from saving to investing, you have to realize that investing does come with a lot of risks. So you even have to read their risk warning and all these things so that you really are aware of the risks of investing. Now I've opened my account. Give me five, you're an investor. So let's actually see if you can invest free. So yeah, I think it does let you actually invest in 1,200 stocks for free. If you guys would like me to make a follow-up video to see how the investing side of the app is, make sure to like this video. So that will give me feedback to know that you are interested in it so if you do like what you see make sure to sign up using the link in the description down below make sure to check out some of my other videos and i will see you in the next video